guys. Welcome back to Malls ASMR. I'm so glad that you're here. Today I am sitting on my bed. So are you. Um, you're sitting on a shoebox and um, as I breathe my tripod is shaking so hopefully that's not super apparent <laughs> in the video. But um, today is just going to be a really chill whisper ramble. Um, I posted <clears throat> like two months ago on my community tab and asked you guys to put your assumptions about me on it and then I forgot about it. Um, so I have like 10 assumptions about me that we're going to go through today. We're just going to sit and have a little ramble, um, get to know me kind of video. Um, that hair is really annoying me. Um, it is kind of gloomy outside. Um, it is like just kind of gross looking. It might start raining. I don't really know. Um, as you guys are watching this video, my niece is being born. Um, so I will be up all, like all of tonight basically. So I thought, why not film a video and then edit it? Wow. I'm waiting for the child to be born. <laughs> so, um, okay. Uh, the first assumption is you spend a lot of money. Um, I agree, kind of. Um, I think I spend, there are times that I spend money on things that I don't really need to, but I also am good at saving money, um, when I need to be, like, if I need to save up for something, if I need to buy something that I know that, like, I'm gonna need, that's gonna make me mad, um, then I can, like, obviously save up for it, like, for school, for an apartment, for car payments, all that kind of stuff, like, I was never in trouble with that, but, like, I do, I do shop a lot. Um, I assume that you are a firstborn and that you are an easy baby. This is also true. Um, I have a younger brother, and, um, he's not the one having the kid, by the way. Um, this is, like, my honorary niece, my best friend Kayla. Her sister is having the baby, and I'm, like, their adopted sister, <laughs> so this is basically my niece. Um, but yeah, I am the oldest, um, and I was an easy baby. Um, he was too. Um, you definitely always show up fashionably late to places. This is actually incorrect. I am chronically early, like, to the point that it's, like, I should not go that early. Like, it's, like, not okay. Like, if I need to be somewhere, say I have a doctor appointment at 1.15, I'm in the parking lot at 1 o'clock. Like, I'm at least 15 minutes early, if not 20, to everywhere. Time freaks me out. Um, I don't know why. It just does. Like, it gives me anxiety, so I'm always early. Um, you definitely have a, have a planner. I assume that your planner is color-coded. I don't know. I combined two comments together. Um, yes, my planner is color-coded. So are, like, all of my notes and stuff for school. That's just how my brain works. Um, I assume that you are one of those girls that you come after the flavor is gone. This is also true. I choose so much gum. It's just like, I've always chewed gum. Um, I think it has to do with like having ADHD and like needing something to like do. Uh, especially if I'm in school. Like I always, I always have gum at least once or twice a day in school. Um, I assume you don't have gigantic plans for your life and like to take it step by step. Um, enjoying every moment of the journey. Um, this is not super true. Um, in all honesty, I have, like, I plan things way too far in advance. Like, I know where I want to live. I know what degree I want to get. I know what I want to major in. I know what I want to minor in. Like, seven years. Like, I've all, I've known what I wanted to major in and what my minor wanted, what I wanted my minor to be, where I wanted to go to school, um, since, like, eighth grade. Um, so... No, I definitely don't think take things step by step. I'm definitely like step by four steps kind of person. Um, you're 100% the girl who wipes off her desk with Clorox wipes before getting to work. Um, this 
this is true. Actually, the reason it is raining, I just noticed that. The reason I'm not filming on my desk right now is because it is so messy, like so messy. Um, I've been writing thank you notes for my graduation party for the past like two days. So I have like an address book. I have um, like envelopes. I have a stack of thank you notes. I have like a whole bunch of crap on my desk right now. Um, but if I'm like gonna do something, um, like before I wrote my thank you notes, I like wiped everything down, made sure it was clean before I got started. Um, I assume family is the most important thing to you and you spend a lot of time with them and that your dog, you're a dog person rather than a cat one. My family is very, 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 very important to me. Um, I wish we spent more time together. Um, we just, my parents are both very busy. Um, my brother and I are pretty busy too, and we just like do different things, but, um, we do spend a good amount of time together. Yes, I'm a dog person. I love cats though. My ex-boyfriend and I had a cat and I loved her. She was the best cat ever. Um, I trained her to be just like me. She was such a high maintenance cat. It was great. Um, but I'm definitely a dog person and I'm a big dog person at that. Not, I don't like little dogs. Little dogs piss me off if I'm being honest. <coughs> Or like knowing that I wanted to work in healthcare, 
I just knew I wanted to help people. That was always something that was like a passion of mine, I guess, was just figuring out how to help people. Um, you're a kind soul. I can be. <laughs> I think that I'm also very like, um, realistic. Like a lot of people are very like optimistic. I don't know that I'm optimistic and I don't know that I'm pessimistic. I think that I'm just very realistic. Like I'm not going to sit here in a shitty situation and be like, oh, it's fine. Like just look at this silver lining. Like, no, I'm not. That's just not how I am. But I also don't take things for granted. And I recognize, um, like I recognize the good things in a situation and I can recognize the bad things in a situation. So I don't know, but there is that, um, this, do you guys see this? Like, why is my hair doing that right now? Can we not? Um, so I thought the rest of this video, cause this has only been 11 minutes. Um, those were all of the assumptions.
like people watched her and we loved her we thought she was so funny and so cool and like whatever in like an older sister kind of way she's like i think 10 years not 10 years she's probably 15 years older than me um but not even 15 she's a lot older than me she's she's older than me but she was still like a young she was younger when we started watching her she was in like her 20s i think and um it was just cool you know like we really like enjoyed watching her videos and now it's like what is going on like that was like behind the scenes of what she was doing was just i mean repulsive um but you would never know you know what i mean like the internet is so fake it is so fake and it's crazy because it's like she was able to pull this whole like scheme off for so many years because nobody said anything and then people are still just like blindly watching her content obviously her miranda content was much more provocative like her shows and everything were much more provocative but if you didn't go to her shows you had no idea you know what i mean like i had no idea that those skits and things were taking place because i had never gone to her show i never talked to anybody that had anything like that so like i had no idea but like it's just crazy how the internet like holds on to stuff like you put that stuff out there people are gonna find it and they're gonna use it against you um it's like with my channel like i think i was worried that people were gonna find it and think that i was weird and be like like tease me for it or whatever and it's like i don't really care because it's like i treat my channel like not really a diary but kind of like kind of like a diary like i show you guys what i like using for makeup i show you guys the books that i'm reading i talk to you guys about what's happening in my life um you get ready with me sometimes in the morning um like stuff like that so it's like even if somebody was like oh like molly has a youtube channel and she whispers into a microphone i'm like yeah but have you watched any of the content like it's all content that i would show to my entire family because it's like it's nothing like bad it's nothing secretive like it's just a fun outlet for me that helps people and i think that that's cool because i've always just wanted to do that but unfortunately that's not everyone's intention and a lot of people have youtube channels and use it maliciously like she did for fame and for attention and for like her own weird twisted little scheme of like talking to children and like all of that with her fans and took advantage of that and ran with it and i just think that that's crazy um but yeah i just that is wild to me like literally wild but i mean people are weird people do weird shit i don't know i can't stop it from happening you just kind of have to observe it and recognize the fact that it's fucked but like um it'll be interesting to see how this like plays out with her family that was something that i talked about i need to stop hunching over because now my back hurts <laughs> um i don't want to hit the cord um how this whole thing like affects her family because like i said her sister rachel has a youtube channel i think i think both of her brothers does she have more than one brother i know she has one brother that has like 15 kids um i think her parents might have a youtube channel like her entire family was on youtube at one point um but like how that affects like her nieces and nephews not even just her own kids but her nieces and nephews and all that stuff like now that all of this stuff is coming out about their aunt like and you live a very public life like that's crazy like that's that's a lot you know like i don't know how they're ever going to like not live it down but like you know what i mean be unaware of the fact like they are very aware of the fact that like this is what's happening because i mean these kids are on the internet and it's plastered all over the internet what this woman has done so it's like they are they're exposed to it unfortunately um so it'll be very interesting
interesting to see what happens uh, with that. I wonder if there are going to be any criminal charges pressed. I just am curious about that, if I'm being honest. Um, I think it would be very interesting to find out what her legal and PR team are thinking right now. They're probably freaking out because I would be too. Um, but I don't know. Um, I did have a question though for you guys. I kind of want to do this could be episode one instead of calling these whisper rambles because I just feel like that's a boring name. I kind of want to do like a podcast, like an ASMR podcast where I just sit on my bed and talk to you guys like an ASMR. Yeah, like an ASMR whispered ramble, but instead call it like a podcast and like do like just sit and chat, maybe talk about your crime, maybe talk about books, talk about my life, talk about whatever, call it like ASMR podcast episode one thoughts, um, where I just sit and talk. It's my own podcast. Maybe I'll have Owen on it at some points and we can discuss that. Um, Owen is getting his own apartment. So, um, catch us filming and making videos together once he moves in, when I come home. Like, if I fly home often enough, maybe we can make some vids for you guys. <laughs> that we can really do an ASMR podcast. But, um, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, maybe this is, I think I'm going to title this episode one of like Molly's ASMR, Molly's bedtime ASMR podcast and see what we think. Um, so, let me know your feedback in the comments. Um, let me know your opinions on the Colleen Ballinger situation. Did you watch her videos? Are you my age? Did you like, you know, were you on YouTube when she was popular? Whatever. Um, just give me some recommendations in the comments. Um, if you guys haven't noticed, my channel is not really, like, trigger-based. Like, I'm just not really a trigger channel. I like sitting and talking and not really sitting and, like, doing triggers. Um, I try to incorporate triggers into my videos, though, but 